So in the last year of Moshe's life, uh, I was in Israel with my husband, Russell, and half of the Amherst training. And every day after the training was over, uh, he wanted Russell to give him a lesson, which he did, and I was allowed to come along. And so for two months uh, every day, I was sitting in a chair next to his bed while Russell was giving him a lesson. And one day he said, I don't know what day it is. I can't stand these calendars. You look at the calendar, you have to know what day it is to know what day it is. <laughs> we began to laugh and I said, well, Moshe, I'm going to make you a calendar. And so I sat there every day and made, I took pieces of paper and did one through 31 and then did the days of the week and the months. And so we used to laugh his his brother would be sitting in the other room smoking and listening to the radio very loudly and the nurse would be listening to a different radio station and russ would be working and i'd be making the calendar and one day he said someone said to him hey mache i think it was russ or someone how are you doing today he said i'm as good as my calendar and so I got very quickly concentrated on making the, the best calendar that could ever be. <laughs> so then he would say, how's the calendar today, Linda? And I'd say, I'd look at him, I said, looking pretty good, Moshe. So we just, we just had this lovely interaction. And <clears throat> the very last day, uh, we were to leave. And he knew we were leaving. And we knew we were leaving. And that was probably the very last time we'd see him. And uh, he moved his arm and, and put it on my hand on the chair, on the, on the armchair there. And he lifted his upper body out of the bed with this great, great, great strength. And he looked me in the eye and he said, don't ever lose your touch. Your touch is so important. And then we say goodbye. Mm. We, all, we were crying as we left, <laughs> you know, but he was such a man. We knew that every day when we walk up those stairs, if we couldn't hear him behind the door, we'd go, uh-oh, is he, is he all right? And then we'd hear, oh, he's been yelling at someone. Oh, he's good. <laughs> we'll go in now. <laughs> So that's my one Moshe story of that time in his life.